Alright, your boy KSF, and we're back at it, aka the sneakerhead, aka sneakerhead dad. Remember, we make shoe contact before we make eye contact, and thanks for coming back to the channel. And it's been a minute since I got my hand on these shoes. I've been wanting them since they dro first dropped as a GR. I got a quick strike version, it is the EXP. X14, and if you're like me and you're wondering what the numbers mean, I'm going to cue some B-roll and I'll tell you guys on the other side. All right, bam, here is the box, the Nike EXP. X14 and I am really really excited to get this shoe and add it to the collection. I've had my eye on an X14 for the longest time and I've finally got one quick strike version 2 and got it for the bargain price of $60 AUD from the Shore store. So absolutely Great, great bargain. So just before I go into the numbers, I'm gonna go into the midsole first. So we have a full one piece rubber, which is great, an improvement on the Element 55 and the Nike Epic React, in my opinion. So the most noticeable feature of our sole there is the midfoot shank, and that is taken from the design of the Nike Vapor Fly Elite. And this shoe takes a lot of design cues from it. It is a lifestyle shoe and not a running shoe, but it pays homage to Nike's running and innovation history in sneakers. So the other noticeable thing of this um, sole is we have this very peak shaped and the peak runs up the back of the shoe because it's a really sort of futuristic running shoe vibe which I really really like also you can see there the blue represents the curve of that midfoot plate gives it the midfoot plate does give it um, a very stiff feel some people like it some people don't but you can feel it and you can see there's not much movement but being a lifestyle shoe um, it's only made to look like a running performance shoe. Being a lifestyle shoe, I did not find that a problem. And also, this heel design here, it does feel a little bit unstable underfoot. Um, I liken it to, I tell people, Ultra Boost is like, if you could theoretically walk on clouds, React foams more like marshmallows. This feels like you're walking on your bedroom mattress when you walk across it. You know, when you jump on the bed and you walk across it, Gives it that kind of feel. I've not um, found my heels slipped out. I've not rolled my foot, anything like that. But yeah, it, it does feel uncertain when you're walking forward. But I really like the feel of the midfoot plate. Really gives you a feeling of going forward and you get that bouncy sort of energy return. And it really feels like you're being propelled forward. So it feels like you're really moving and going somewhere, which I do really like to be honest. Right now, down here, I'll get the camera to focus. Every Nike EXP X14 will have these numbers on it, whether it be under the translucent material or down the side um, of this felt material here. And that is basically, it's got a code of numbers and I'm gonna let you know what that means. And it's fairly, fairly, fairly simple. So. EXP stands for experimental. X14 was the prototype name given to the React foam. Then we've got backslash, backslash. I'll pull out the inner sole to show you guys this and also tell you about the inner sole. 149115. So we've got a five mil thick open cell inner sole, which is a fairly decent inner sole for Nike. And that actually spells Nike in basic alphabet count. I'll put I'll put it down below too so you can get what I mean. So if we say A equals one, B equals two, C equals three, called alphabet count, and if you've learned basic encryption, that's one of the first things they teach you to teach you kind of the theory of encryption. That will spell Nike when you decipher that from the numbers. 
Now if backslash backslash FA18 first assigned in 2018, which is when the EXP first dropped and the first colorway was released to the public. Um, then you got backslash backslash 1923151908, and as you can see down below, that spells swoosh. And then N3546 is Steve Prefontaine's record breaking time. Throwing back to Nike's running heritage, a bit of a homage to him. So that is what the numbers mean. So on the back collar, we have the neoprene and sort of a felt synthetic material. Kind of the exact same material you'll get on the Element 55. I don't even know how you really felt, kind of how I explain that. And on the tongue, um, you get a little bit of foam in the heel collar area, but it's basically pretty much only a slight bit of padding just to give it a bit more structure and stop it folding in, but it doesn't really offer support. You get a little bit of support from this peak, but hey, not much. I'll go through in the back, you can see that the whole shoe is fully lined in there. So when it comes to the translucent lucent material, you get the translucent look, but it is um, unlike the Element 87, you're not gonna see your socks through this, but you can see the fly wire lacing system, so we'll just lock onto that there. And this is a really, really nice lace locking system and really pulls down your foot and really offers good support. You'll see here, it's, you've got extra structural support in behind the fly wire so it doesn't dig in and also offers arch support. And it's a really, really great lacing system. Really big fan of the um, Nike fly wire lacing system. It feels really, really nice on foot. Um, the toe box of this shoe is quite roomy and it is slightly wide um, for a Nike. So it's not the usual Nike narrow fit that you get. And there's a bit of room in the toes there, but you can just lock down with the lace lock system and you'll probably be fine with that. Um, pretty much, you'll be able to go true to size, I would say, or if you're normal Nike size 12, then you'll do okay with this. Maybe you could go up half a size or down half a size. I suggest trying this on, because, hey guys, this is a GR shoe, so go to your local shoe store and try it on. Simple as that. Um, I can only give advice on sizing. Every sh um, foot's different and every shoe is different. So yeah, I I went true to size, no problems with it. Um, yeah, basically this is beautiful looking colorway. It's sort of like an oil slick watermelon pastel blue color, kind of like um, oil stripes on water or even a hydro dip colorway I don't, I don't know how you'd explain it but here have a look on there and you guys can look yourselves and you really can see the colorway for yourself also notice on the side we have 3m dashes i will chuck up a picture so you can see the 3m dashes and this is yeah just a really really dope shoe all around some slight quality issues with the gluing and that but nothing really really noticeable nike what are you doing with your quality control get it back on point some like some jordans have good quality some have bad some nikes have good quality some have bad this is there's few little glue marks and that but overall really really decent shoe and basically that's all for me we're going to chuck to the on foot so remember always shine like a diamond crest those sneaks and flex on them haters